to the tuner. I'm gonna see what this thing can make. Still got a while yet. Two more hours. Just started, so. Still thinking of getting a 4.6 final gear ratio. But I'll definitely need a longer fifth gear. Sent out there. Got a boosted BAT Integra. That was a sucky ride, but too much traffic. But it is what it is. session you know I mean there was there's we were doing more other things you know messing with the vehicle and uh, you know uh, trying to get things running right and the vehicle just didn't want to make power um, we did you know gap the spark plugs down because the spark plugs were like at 40 they were spaced at like 40 44 you know the tuner uh, my tuner art art at YCU tuning in New York PA he was looking at the plugs and he was like uh, yeah those the gap is like way too big so he gapped them down I can't remember where we gapped them down to I don't know if it was like 32 or I can't remember but um, he took a look at the wires the wires is like super old I, that slipped my mind. I'm like, I got the old wires right here. I'll show you. But when I picked up that F20B, I uh, basically, you know, built everything and well, I built the head. You know, put cams in there, skunk two tuner two cams, and I put springs in there and. You know, uh, you know, full a header with the full exhaust, two and a half exhaust, a resonator and a muffler, basically no cat. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I still had the old, still had the old plugs in there, so that was an issue. Um, I mean, after the fact that I dynoed the vehicle and I took it home, I found also that my, uh, the rotor cap had some burn marks on it. <clears throat> uh, the, I should say that the, the tip of the rotor had burn marks on it. Um, I had an MSD cap on there, but I took it off because I'm not sure if, you know, I don't know if the rotor was specific. I don't know if I needed a rotor that was specific for the cap 
or not. So I took it off. I had I had a brand new uh, cap laying around, so I threw that on. Threw some NGK plugs on there, and um, you know, took it for a drive. It seems to be driving nice, but it's a shame that I didn't get to like you know go on the dyno and see exactly what it would have made. Um, it made about 140 on on that dyno and. That's actually lower than the F23 because the F23 made uh, ammo. No, it made basically 150, 150 horse and about 143 pound-feet of torque, I believe, on the F23. And the F20B that only made 140 and about 100 and something, 100 and something odd pound-feet of torque, like 101, 105. I can't remember, but. On the dyno, uh, you know, you're looking at the dyno chart, you know, um, it started off smooth, you know, when I hit VTAC, it, you know, it started rising like, like you would normally see in an F20B. It started rising, but as it got to the type, top, it started getting like jittery, like it would, it would be bouncing and stuff like that. My tuner was like, I don't know what that is, you know, um. You know, he was saying it could be the ignition, you know. Um, so we were talking for a while. I was I was telling him, I was like, man, I, sh I think I should have hit, you know, about... I was aiming for, like, 215 on the Mustang Dino, but now that I'm, you know, I I had another setup to base my setup off of a, a friend, uh, Yusuf. He had a, a built F20B with a Euro R intake manifold, uh, Skunk 2 Pro 1's, uh, P PLM, uh, header, and that was in a, uh, that was in an EK, EK sedan, but he made 215, or 217 on that same dyno, so I was like, I should make pretty close to what he made, because, uh, my setup is, is, uh, similar, I would say, I got a Skunk 2, tuner twos i have a gutted uh oem intake manifold with a 70 millimeter throttle body um i have a PL plm uh it's a knockoff header but it's still p you know plm design uh with a two and a half straight back resonator and a muffler and uh i was hoping to at least hit somewhere in that ballpark if i was if i hit 210 I would have been fine with that, but we, I showed him some videos of the gutted, the gutted intake, uh, OEM intake manifold versus like, uh, the URR and how it performs versus the URR. And one thing that my tuner pointed out as we were looking at the graphs, the gutted OEM intake manifold on a dyno, uh, the dyno the dynographs uh, always look jittery at the top like it's never a smooth it's never a smooth rpm band like when you see the urr dyno it's a very smooth rpm band and when you see a gutted you know oem manifold it's very jittery at the top like you see a lot of ripples and bounces and stuff like that so uh that's something that he brought up to you know to my attention so something to look forward to when, when I dyno again. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to make, you know, to be honest. And, uh, Yusuf made that power with E85, so I'm not running E85. I'm only running 93, so. And um, he did have a run in there where he, when he ran 93, and he made, I think he made about 180-ish. I think so, about 180, about 180 or 190 he made. And also I wanted to point out about the, the car ain't supposed to be shooting flames in a dyno. So I think from my uh, understanding is a lot of, it was a lot of fuel and I'm probably getting, I was pointed out by one of the guys there also hanging around that there could be there's air coming in from the, you know, like an exhaust leak coming in that would help ignite, you know, help give oxygen to ignite that flame, you know, so 
I mean, that was, I think that was the last time that I, maybe one other time on the highway, I'm pretty sure I heard it backfire, but, you know, that was like one other time. It seems to be running good. I got to make a video of it running. It sounds really good, and I wish I'd video more of the dyno, because it's, you know, when it gets up there in the high RPM, it starts to sound very smooth, and it's, it's crazy. Um... Also, my uh, wideband wasn't collaborated, so uh, we had issues, you know, tuning with that. So, I mean, he stuck to his own wideband that he plugged into the to the tailpipe, but now I got it uh, calibrated. I'm going to mess with it some, and uh, yeah, yeah, you'll see. You'll see what I'm doing.